Hi guys and welcome back. Today is going to be a review on something I thought that I would never be so extra that I would buy. So if you don't know, I have an almost two year old and I have a baby due in 11 days. Our second baby. So with our first daughter, Haven, I winged it, obviously, first time mom. I didn't want, we have a small home anyways, but I didn't want to buy a ton of stuff. Um, I'm just not that high maintenance when it comes to things like that. I like functional things, but I don't want to like overbuy and like just pack the house with a bunch of baby stuff because A, we didn't have room for it and B, I just didn't want the clutter and all that kind of stuff. And I didn't want a bunch of stuff that we weren't really going to use. That being said, after I set up her nursery, it's like weird. It's like the first time you do a nursery, and this might just be me, might not be everyone, but you know, I thought that I had it set up pretty well until I actually got a baby in there. And once I got that baby in there, I saw all the little things and I thought, okay, so this isn't that functional. <laughs> Let's move some of this stuff around. Same thing with her bottles. Now, I, I breastfed her, um, so she was exclusively breast milk fed, but um, I fed her from me and we did bottles. Um, my mom watches Haven still, but when I went back to work, she started watching Haven for me during the day and she gave her bottles. I gave her bottles at home. Um, she never had any kind of nipple confusion or anything like that. So she would eat for me, she'd eat from a bottle, she didn't care. So, and then obviously the pacifier game. <laughs> pacifier game. The constant dropping and losing of the passies and then they go under the couch and then you look down and the dog's got it in its mouth and stuff like that. So I, um, like I said, I went without this product with Haven and I hated it. I hated it. It was hard. And don't get me wrong, it's totally doable. You don't have to have this product. But I knew going into my second baby with Haven only being almost two she still is using sippy cups she still takes a pacifier no judgment um, and there's always like odds and ends and stuff like that and another round of breastfeeding and pumps like pumps pump hearts and all that extra stuff that comes that I was spending like spending so much time washing and sterilizing during the day and I mean like it, it was keeping me up like I was the last one to go to sleep at night and it was because I was washing and sterilizing breast pump parts and bottles and nipples and it was just now it's just one baby just the one so I bought a bottle sterilizer and I looked I looked for one of these forever I mean I watch reviews I researched a million of them and you can get a really cheap one or you can get a crazy expensive one I didn't want either one of those I didn't want anything I had to put in the microwave I wanted something um, because a lot of the reviews on like ones that were cheaper said um, stuff like waiting for the bottle you know after you sterilize them then you still have to set them out to dry and things like that and um, that's <laughs> That's the main part for me. I mean, yes, I want them sterilized and that's important, but I need them dry. I need them ready to use. I need to be able to throw them up in the cabinet. I need to be able to put them in my bag with my pump so I can take it to work. Like I need, I need things dry. I don't have time to get up that much earlier in the morning and then pull them out and like say I ran it at night or something and then like pull them out and then set them up on the counter. I don't have a lot of like a lot of counter space. So I knew I wanted one with a dryer as well. So it was going to be a little bit more expensive, but I looked and looked and looked, and this is the one that I chose. Um, I believe you pronounce it Papa Blick? Papa Blick? Probably butchering that, but I don't care. Because this is the box here, and it's obviously not in here because I'm throwing it around like, you know, like it's empty, because it is. <sighs> so this little bad boy, I have used it. So, I will, let me see, let's go on this side. So, it's a sterilizer and dryer, one dial, spacious three-in-one design. 
um, effective natural steam and an auto shut off. Okay, so it takes about 45 minutes for um, the cycle. Hang on, let me get this thing picked up. The belly is real. <laughs> I'm trying to uh, bend over. Okay, so it takes 45 minutes for it to cycle, and you don't have to use the dryer if you don't want to. So I think it takes 15 minutes if you don't use the dryer. So if you just want to do the sterilizer, you just turn it. Here she is. So you turn it to, you can see, the first option, and then if you want to do the, and that's this one. And then if you want to do the dryer, you turn it to this one and it takes 45 minutes. And then this is like the extended um, cycle. And I think that one takes 60. I'm not really sure why you'd want to do the extended. Maybe if you want something, peace of mind, extra, I'm not sure. Um, but I've used this, how many times? Probably five already. Getting all the stuff ready for Everly. Um, getting all hot stuff sanitized and stuff like that and then I used it on a bunch of Haven stuff and I'm already in love with it like it it's so quiet it's quieter than well it's quieter than a dishwasher for sure um, it's so quiet and you know it, it might be a little big people might not like it but I just put it on my kitchen table like in the on the on the back of it wasn't using the kitchen table right there <laughs> I just use it there and it's fine and um, it works really well and I ran it like I said I think I've ran it about five times and things everything was dry hallelujah it worked really really well and another reason why I wanted to get a sterilizer like an actual sterilizer is because I remember one time with Haven um, I was sterilizing bottles and nipples by boiling them I don't know what happened but a bunch of the new bottles like stuck to the bottom of the pan and I didn't realize it like as I was sitting there with it and it almost like ate through them or burned through them but it didn't so I was still able to use the bottles but they had like this awful burn spot on them and like it was rough and like I almost cried because you know how bottles are like they're expensive so yeah so I was pretty freaking upset about that so anywho so it has three little parts so it has the top and you take the top off <laughs> caught that so here is the top basket so it's kind of just your catch-all you can put your you put your nipples like nipple down so you can do nipples you can do pacifiers um, I did the all the pump parts up in the top of this um, some of Haven sippy cups it comes with those straws you know that look I'm telling you all of those straws are meant to do is collect mold I'm telling you like I spend more time like double checking and like using those brush straw brushes or whatever to run through those um, really made me feel much better like after I washed them to put them through this cycle I mean because you don't I mean I don't think that you have to do it every single time like I'm not that mom that's doing that don't get me wrong, who has the time for that? But, you know, a couple, like a, once a week to do a sterilized load for her, uh, for Haven. And, like, I'll do breast pump parts on this all the time. So the next section is the bottle um, section. So it, it will hold, I think it says 10. Um, and then it has, like, you can kind of see here. So it's got like these knobs or whatever that you can like set the bottles on. But um, yeah, this thing is spacious. I packed that little baby and I didn't like pack it too full or whatever so that way it like wouldn't work or anything. But um, it worked really, really well. I mean, you gotta think like whenever you put something through the dishwasher and it flips over and you just hate it, this thing does not cycle like that. So it doesn't, it's not gonna flip anything over. You're gonna be you're gonna be just fine. So here's the base. Base, I mean, and you know, this thing really isn't heavy at all either. So it's really simple. Um, it's got like a max line level. You can you can't you're not gonna be able to see it in camera, but you can see it in per, like person. 
Uh, and I just used, we get, um, we always have a gallon of the Gerber water or like distilled water or something like that around the house. Um, and I'm usually not too picky when it comes to, oh, it says you have to use like distilled water and I'm like, eh, it's fine. With this, I didn't want to take a chance because um, this will actually get like a calcium. Like all of them do, apparently, because the reviews that I watched and everything like that. Um, it'll get like a calcium deposits on it or whatever, so I didn't want to use our hard water. Um, like just tap water. So I just used that. But it's like, what, a dollar at Walmart for that a gallon of water? So not too shabby. But yeah, like seriously, you just pour it and leave. So you can just run the top basket if you want. So you don't have to run like a full thing if you don't have anything to put in the middle. Um, and if you don't want to use the basket, the little lid fastens right on to this. So it's actually really cool. I like it a lot. Like I said, I've already used it and I just know that this thing is going to be used and abused. Like I feel like it already needs cleaning though, um, which doesn't really bother me because they have instructions on how to clean it and it's really simple. Um, and like everything in your mom life, it needs cleaned. Oh, what else is new? <laughs> everything does. So, what I like about it is that it's quiet, you can run it at night, and nobody's going to hear it. I mean, you can run it during the day too, obviously. But, what I like about it is that, kind of like how my routine was with Haven, was at the end of the night, like that's when I would do the bottles and stuff. So, all I have to do is just wash them, pop them in here, and I don't have to worry about anything else. And they'll be dry in the morning, and... It'll just be, I think it'll be so much easier. And especially because I have my babies in October, because I like my little fall babies, that is like prime flu season. Um, knock on wood, we were lucky with Haven um, through both winters that she has been through. But you never know, that ain't another child. Just up to your chances of getting sickness in the house. And Haven did have a, one cold so far. Um, so this little thing is going to be so great sterilizing their pacifiers for sure because we all know that Haven's going to take Everly's pacifier. We know this. And when Everly gets big enough she's going to try to take hers. Surely by then Haven will be out of the pacifier stage but I'm not going to go there. <laughs> uh, it's a work in progress. But anyway so yeah. So so far so good i would say this is a great one um i don't mind the bulk i don't feel like it's that big anyways um it honestly takes up about it's tall i will say that so it's tall so if you have um you probably don't want to put this under your cabinets to run it might fit under your cabinets just to like store but you probably don't want to do that just because it does have the vent holes in the top and you don't want them um, I don't know what that would do to your cabinets. You might not like it. Um, it might do something bad. It might not do anything. I don't know. So I just put mine out on the table. But honestly, if you put a crock pot out, I feel like it doesn't take up any more room than a crock pot, except for the height. But yeah, so I am a fan of this little guy. And I am glad I bought it. He was $80 on Amazon. And I'll link it below. Um, when I found it, I only found like this color, white, who cares? I don't care what color it is. Um, it could be like mustard yellow and I would still, I would still love him. I'd call him Mus. <gasps> Colonel Mustard. That'd be better. Smarter. Anyways. So yeah, so this gets, um, if I'm gonna rate it, I have no idea. Five stars, is that what we're doing? Um, so anyways, yeah, so far so good. Really, really like this product. If you're looking for a sterilizer, I'm thinking the dryer is the way to go. And what I did, I just used some gift cards that I got um, for my baby shower um, to make the sting a little less 
with buying an $80 product because I hate spending that kind of money. But anyways, a, it's a sterilizer. You can sterilize all kinds of stuff. I mean, it doesn't have to be baby products. If you wanted to sterilize your like nail instruments or stuff like that, like after your babies are out of bottles, I don't see why you couldn't. It doesn't say anything about not putting metal in here. You could put forks, I'm sure, so your nail kit could probably do that too. So, so anyways, I hope this was informative. I hope it helps you with your decision. Um, whether or not you're going to get one or whether or not you're going to get this one. So yeah, so I really appreciate you guys watching and until next time, bye.